Good morning, everyone. Pioneer agronomist Tony Zeruzan here. I wanted to take a minute and talk about pre-plant and hydrosendry. With things getting backed up a little bit so far this spring, it's important to remember that we need to try and prevent injury to our corn seed from anhydrous burn. Normally, we look to wait five to seven days after application before we plant corn. I understand that with Mother Nature not giving us too many days to work, that window is going to be compressed. I want to stress that waiting a few days after application could prevent major injury that would set back a corn crop and could be worth waiting a couple days of planting time. So let's talk about what we can do to potentially reduce the risk. When anhydrous ammonia is injected in the soil, it expands in all directions, creating a retention zone. The free ammonia, or NH3, is highly toxic to corn seed, which is why it's important to give it time to convert to NH4. Reducing risk of injury involves separating the ammonia from the seed by either time or distance. A solution is to create spatial separation for the developing seeds and the anhydrous by injecting the anhydrous 7 to 10 inches deep. Consider a scenario where the anhydrous is applied at a depth of 5 inches. If the NH3 expands at 3 inches in all directions, now it's only 2 inches away from the soil surface and will come in contact with the emerging root system. And injecting the anhydrous ammonia deeper into the soil reduces that likelihood of injury. So the options could be that we would wait that 5 to 7 days after anhydrous, we could actually change the nitrogen program to eliminate pre-plant and just side dress so that we can get out there earlier. Or we can bury the NH3 deep under that rooting zone. So I hope this helped. Uh, once again, stay safe out there and thanks for listening. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.